I already put my uh, name on the tab, found the center of the card, place it in there, taking out the compass, and you want to uh, make the radius two and a half so you have a diameter of a total of five, so just put zero to two and a half over here. Right there. Put the center right there in the compass. And make a circle. Grabbing it from the top, just rotating this around all the way. Sets that off to the side. Okay? Once you have that, go ahead and label it so you have the same letters corresponding to the direction. These are all capital letters, little serif type. <coughs> so you have it divided into four equal parts, then on C dividing this section in half. So you're using the compass again, and you're putting it in a point there, making sure that it goes above this section. make two arcs, and putting it in the center again to find these two pieces. Just using these two marks, finding their midpoint to find the center, and this is going to be a lowercase a. All right. Then it says place this at a, so set the point to a, open it up to the C, and I'm just going to move the adjusting with the wheel to get a little bit smaller and a little more accurate. Make sure that mark goes right on there. And it has you swing this down to the midpoint here. It's like a little puzzle. And that becomes B. Intersecting here. Hmm? Now it's reversing this. So putting the compass up at the top use the rotator part to come down to this section. Mark it a little bit right there. And here it's swinging this arc. It's going to get from there, wrap itself over to here. So now I have two more points, C and D. So here's the, that's the arc. It's having it put it on this C to extend it up to here. Make sure it's connected. And that brings it down to this one. Right there. Put this on D. Puts it over here. So now you have all the points you need on the circumference because it's a it's an odd degree that goes in there. It doesn't become symmetrical till after. actually helps you line it up. <laughs> so you can keep that point there, keep everything flat. There we go. So now you have a pretty accurate piece there. <coughs> I'm just going to put a little paint right on there. Make it a little easier. Take a brush, mix that paint right there. And just follow that line right there. Best you can. A little bit of water. Mix it up there. It gives you a little practice with the painting. And 
Doesn't matter which color you choose. Just gonna put the brush. Now the brush has the metal part, which is the ferrule, <laughs> and the ferrule is crimped, so it's holding it to the the wood handle as well as to the hairs of the brush. Keeps it locked in there. And then if you need to mix a little water in there. I just put it on the board just so I don't have to worry about a pallet. Keep in mind, this is acrylic paint, so it has a polymer base to it. <laughs> that takes a little getting used to, and the brush, depending on how big of a brush you use, <laughs> gives you a nice surface there. And you're just trying to feather the brush itself. out real good, get a nice coating to it. And there you go. I have a little extra paint on here so I can, if it goes too transparent, just thicken it up. Spread it out real good.